Hello dear one. Thank you for subscribing to this channel and for watching our videos, liking them, sharing them and commenting. Today we are about to look at the part 2 of the series Elementary Principles of Christ. And this time we are looking at water baptism amazing things that happen when you undergo water baptism in Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 John the Baptist speaking says I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that comes after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Water baptism is baptism unto repentance. As you are dipped into the water, you are exercising a good conscience towards God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. When you go through baptism, you are openly identifying with Christ. Water baptism is initiation into Christ. You assume a new beginning in the body of Christ. Baptism makes us identify with the Lord Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Baptism is for those who have repented. For the apostles said, Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and you will receive forgiveness of sins. Baptism is for disciples. It is for people who are saved. Our Lord Jesus Christ in concluding his ministry said to his disciples and Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I've commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Jesus commissioned his disciples and told them to go and preach and make disciples and then baptize them and then to teach them all that he will be commanding them. Discipleship precedes baptism. Baptism is a Trinitarian instruction in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God chose baptism as a means to show forth who his son is. Water baptism bears witness of our sonship and our salvation. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. And when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Your heavens could open if you go through water baptism, just as Jesus' heaven was opened. Many have encountered the Holy Spirit descending upon them 
at the place of baptism. Don't let anything prevent you from being baptized with water if you are already a believer in Jesus. Water baptism is fitting to fulfill all righteousness. There is a righteousness that is fulfilled when you allow yourself to be baptized. On this earth, there are three things that bear record. The water, the spirit, and the blood. From the very day Jesus came into contact with the water, God spoke from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Baptism bears witness that we are the sons of God. John couldn't know that Jesus was the Son of God until he was baptized. John gave his account on that fateful day of baptism. He said, I did not know him, but that he should be revealed to Israel. Therefore, I came baptizing with water. And John bore witness, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and he remained upon him. I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, Upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Baptism is a testimony that you are a son of God. It is an open identification of Christ. God sent John the Baptist just to come to the world and baptize people with water. Jesus Christ reaffirmed that instruction when he told his disciples to make disciples and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. There are many controversies among believers as regards how baptism is to be done. But Jesus was very clear. Make disciples and baptize them. Baptism is for the repentant. When a person hears the gospel and believes the gospel and repents of his ways, he needs to be baptized. Many argue that since Jesus came and his coming was to baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire, that means water baptism is not necessary. But Jesus never said that. He knows the Holy Spirit will come when he allowed John the Baptist to baptize him. Moreover, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud, all passed through the sea, all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. All of them were baptized. So it is the will of God that you get baptized. An angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south along the road which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is desert. So he arose and went. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch, of great authority under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all her treasury and had come to Jerusalem to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot, he was reading Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said to Philip, Go near and overtake this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I unless someone guides me? And he asked Philip to come up and sit with him. The place in the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And as a lamb before a shearer is silent, So he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, his justice was taken away. And who would declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. 
So the eunuch answered Philip and said, I ask you, of whom does the prophet say this? Of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning at this scripture, preached Jesus to him. Now as they went down the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? Then Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So he commanded the chariot to stand still. And both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and he baptized him. Now when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away, so that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. If you believe with all your heart, you may be baptized. I pray that you enjoy all the bliss of baptism in Jesus' name. Amen.